Sorry for the delay. I won't lie to you. Life simply got in the way and there's a ton of things going on. So between all the jobs here and my own job outside of this, uh, there hasn't been a lot of time to actually go through all the footage. It's been great to see the interest coming in, the questions. I'm glad to see that the videos have actually had um, just some impact and some entertainment for people. So that's good. That was the whole idea was to um, to be able to show that no matter how bad your project is, someone out there is having a worse time. And I'm always happy to be that one, that low benchmark. Anyway, there's been a ton of stuff going on. I will do my best to keep those updates coming in. And if nothing else, you can have a laugh at my expense. And eight and a half hours later, we stand at the port side above the waterline. I'd say the biggest holdup actually in this entire job today has been taking off the vinyls. Um, what can I say? They're just well made and I'm just there peeling them off with a blade. Um, in any case, that's done and she is looking, I think, a hell of a lot better. Um, even, even just being able to throw a little water on to see the surface that's there, it's just so much better. It's not going to come in as a mirror because it is still steel. Um, there's only so much that you can do there. And what I'm going to do now is start sanding some of the anti -fell, um again on port side just to uh, just to keep on treating that. evening again here we go so at this point we've got port side sanded only top side and um, started on the anti -fell. and starboard side all we've got left to do is the rub rail here so this evening I think that part of what I'm gonna do is just start on the transom because there's a reason that I've left certain sections to last with the transom side of this is that there's been a substantial rust pocket that's built up so in order to take that off, um, I'm going to have to just temporarily disconnect only that part of the wind vane. That should be fine. It should really just be a um, matter of take off the holding nut from inside, take off that bracket, pair it back. I'm not going to be able to prime it for a couple of days, but prime it. And from there, I've just got some Sikaflex just to rebuild that seal and then put it on again. Uh, the other problem I found is that some of the primer is actually out of date. Um, it's expired by maybe two and a half months. Now I would have thought that it was a case of best before, but not bad after. It's not. It's gone. The paint is soft. So because of that, I'm going to have to take off any primer that I've put on so far. Now thankfully, that's, that's not a lot. And the other case of it, it's a, just a live and let learn situation. So don't put it on unless it's good. Now the way the port side is progressing, I'm actually quite happy. Uh, a lot of the anti fellows started into finding certain areas that I just need to take down a little bit, as in crack paint, but that'd be fine. Um, I've bought new primer already, so this will be a case of just over the weekend, the weather's not going to be great. 
So I'll take that chance to open up some more of these pockets and just have them as ready as they can be. I did say I'd also include how much time it takes me to do something um, and I'd be honest about it. So, it's been six days. Today is day six. Um, I was definitely full of beans when I started this side and I just went hell for leather and it was fine. Over the days um, from just working all day and then doing it in the evening, yeah, definitely a little bit tired at the end of it, but every time that that frustration can kick in, best thing to do is just take a break, I find. Take a break, because otherwise you're going to start half-assing things. And that's just not a good idea. Never good. But, yeah. She's getting there, piece by piece. There's definitely enough boat to cover uh, for one person. And now for this evening, we'll start by yeah, let's just start signing the tremor. Friday evening and uh, yeah the first pass in the transom that's all the top side fantastic I did manage to take off this primer using just the paper just using the sander so that's good and um, because I don't have a grinder on hand and it would just be no just be nice to take care of any of this crap while I can um, so that's that piece done um, right now there's only certain other elements like taken back just this very small there was like one small rust section there I'll just open that up again make sure that there's nothing lying underneath that's very concerning and then as I said I'm going to take off um, this part of the wind vane tomorrow and just kind of chip away at that so that leaves the only thing outstanding is the rub rail here and here there is just one little pocket that's the one so this one little pocket that needs to be treated and same thing exactly literally just break off the paint sand it back um, until there's no more peeling no more chipping and then uh, bring it back to shiny metal prime it none of this stuff is overly complex so far it's definitely time consuming definitely never underestimate just how much there is um, involved but I'm thinking that what I'll get done is the hole so I'll manage to get it painted at least the primer on anyway there are certain other things like the bowsprit that I need to um, just treat very same way um, it'll be the same paint at least but there were a, well, there are a couple of um, rust pockets in there as well this one only looks to be very uh, just low level like cosmetic so that's fine but I am a little bit concerned about the transom because that particular section is looking quite bubbly and if there's one thing I rarely associate with uh, positivity in metal is bubbles when do you see bubbly metal? okay that's it for now yeah little clean up that'll be it now like I said it has been a while but if you're enjoying this video and if you enjoyed the ones that were 2020 um look like subscribe and i'll try and keep more frequent updates coming in see ya